Hi guys, I'm here today to show you how you can use your Vivo Stick PC to stream Xbox to any room in your home that has a TV or monitor with a HDMI input. First, let's start with the Vivo PC Stick itself. This device is a powerful compact unit that is packed with features. It comes with Windows 10 Home, an Intel Cherry Trail T3 Z8350 processor, 2GB of memory and 30GB of internal storage. And if that's not enough storage for you, ASUS throw in 100GB of web storage. The Vivo Stick comes with two USB ports, one USB 3 and one USB 2.0 as well as having one audio jack for mic and headphone input. The highlight of this unit for me however would have to be the AC wireless. The AC wireless has allowed me to stream hours of entertainment over my network to any TV in my home using its 5 GHz channel. Now let's quickly talk about what comes in the box. Well this unit comes with pretty much everything you need to get up and running. Obviously the Vivo stick is supplied in the box as well as a power cable and a power plug. Warranty card is standard. ASUS is even kind enough to provide a mounting bracket and HDMI extension cable to enable you to mount the device to your TV or monitor. Now let's get started on how to set this device up with your Xbox One for streaming. But not only will I show you how to set up your Xbox for streaming, I'm going to demonstrate for you today some gameplay from, from some of my favourite games. So stay tuned to the end of the clip if you want to see some of your favourite gameplay action also. First, we make sure our Xbox is turned on. Second, we make sure we're signed in to our Xbox account. Before we go to the next step, we need to make sure you're using the right hardware. Here's a quick tip for you to check if you've got the right controller to proceed to the next step. So now I'll proceed to show you on how to connect your Xbox controller to your Vivo Stick PC using Bluetooth 4.1. First of all, turn on your Xbox controller. Now if you're lucky enough like me to have this icon pop up, with one click, everything just works itself out. As you can see from that one click, Windows does everything for me. It's downloading all the drivers and everything without having even a click pair. So this is if you're lucky enough to have this option pop up. But what if you're not? So let me run you through some other options. Down here in the bottom right hand corner, you can click on the R power on. You might have a Bluetooth icon. Double click this and you might be lucky enough to have this pop up. But let's do it the old fashioned way through the start menu. Click on settings and once this pops up we click on devices and on the left hand side you'll see Bluetooth. Now this is where we have to connect the Bluetooth on our Xbox controller. So once we push that button you'll see it pop up here and we'll double click here and click pair. And that will allow us to find the Windows drivers and pair the device to the PC. And once we have our Bluetooth devices connected together, we're ready for the fun part, the uh, connecting of the Xbox for streaming. So we'll open up the start menu and scroll down to the Xbox application. And once this uh, uh, gets loaded up here, you'll see it loads up your Xbox dashboard. Now this is just pulling all data from the cloud so we'll click on the left hand side down here where we can find our Xbox consoles. Now they need to be connected on the same network so the Vivo PC and the Xbox need to be connected and to the same, same network obviously so we can um, pull up a stream option. So once we pull up the stream you'll see that we bring up our Xbox dashboard as if our Xbox was actually physically plugged into this uh, screen here so um, I'm quite impressed with the movement and and uh, flexibility so let's just have a look around and go to the store and, uh, yeah 
yet, so everything seems in order as it would be if, if it was physically in this room. So let's just check out my games and uh, apps section and make sure. Uh, yeah, so it looks like all my games are fully accessible through the streaming options, all the uh, apps are here. Uh, let's resume my game of FIFA that I was into before. So have a have a bit of a game. Oh, so oh oh oh, get it out of there! All right, we got a quick counter, quick counter. So run up the other end. So we'll just use this game to ooh, test the quick Try game play over the, the, the network. Oh, oh, and oh, I just missed. Got to get it back now, but uh, yeah. So you know, it's got to be quick reactive here. So. Uh, yeah, no, I'm pretty impressed with um, FIFA, so let's let's uh, have a crack at another game here. Uh, load up some Final Fantasy and uh, have a quick game of this here. So uh, probably not the most intensive, but you know, good good to give you an idea of some of the gameplay, you know, coming across through the streaming. So I am streaming on a on a high uh, very high uh, bandwidth so you do have four options to choose from on the bandwidth settings so my home network's oh. capable of running so you can see the gameplay here running Ooh. through and He's really uh, got your number, just to give you a bit of an Ooh, idea it's connected through a uh, mode of the router finds a way. so we need both to my Xbox him, and the Vivo no PC are anime. connected through a, a, a Asus DSL AC68U. So that's a dual band modem router uh, connecting through the 5 gig channel. So um, yeah, you can see through the game that the Vivo PC stick is capable of handling anything I'm throwing at it at the moment. So let's throw a bit of Forza 3 at it here and uh, see what we can come up with. Got a bit of a rev of the engines there. Get get your engines started, people. So obviously, uh, streaming video contents uh, not not that much of a stress test, I guess, for the for the streaming. Most devices are capable of streaming video. For me, it's all about the gameplay and the the responsiveness of the controller um, over the streaming. So far, I'm impressed. Um, I have had some extensive gameplay of, of FIFA um, using this, but this is my, you know, first few ventures into some other games. So we can see Forza Horizon, and uh, should give me a selection up to my garage shortly. So once we get up and running here, I'll just do do a few quick burnouts here. Mark on the road. Okay, whoops, sorry people. See you later. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, so now we'll just cruise on down the street here. And uh, yeah, looks pretty smooth to me, no glitches. Uh, Alright, so uh, I've got another game I'll test out here. It's another one of my driving favourites. Track Mania. Be good uh, to have the steering wheel set up. I wonder if the Vivo PC will support that. I'll have to have to do another video on that some other time. Setting up a steering wheel on your Vivo PC. So let's get this game up and running. So um, oh, just pop some network settings up here, so you can uh, have a look at that. Let's get a quick game started up here. Alright. So let's test this out. So we can monitor the bandwidth down in the corner. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see. So once the uh I'm starting with driving here, it's hard for me to focus on two things at once here, but 
I can see the, the bandwidth is quite high when it's in gameplay. Um, but, you know, that's to be expected. So, so uh, I think it's about time we wrap things up here. So thanks for watching, guys. And if you've got any questions or queries, feel free to, you know, leave them in the comments below and uh, I'll, I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for tuning in.